A man accused of shooting his roommate's friend is headed to trial. I'm Ginza is open daily from 11 a.m. till 10.30 p.m. They close on the weekends at 11. My buddy Stambo has been out here since dawn scrubbing down his jet, getting it ready for this Saturday's air fair, which is at Foxfield. Now, the time you want to be here is at 8 a.m. Good evening, I'm Lori Brown. Closing arguments concluded today at 4.30, and the jury is expected to start deliberations tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is Wednesday, November 5th, and welcome to our election results coverage. I'm Lori Brown. And more trouble with college fraternities tonight. Kids here took a journey back in time. Not only could they see the dinosaurs up close and personal, they can become real life archaeologists by digging for fossils. More than 2,500 high school juniors and seniors are inside this hangar at Site 9 on Plant 42. It's big enough to house a jumbo 747 jet. You know, I really want to sing this next story, but I won't. Get your motor running and head out on the highway. The footage hits the airwaves as breaking news. Shots were fired early this morning after an undercover police officer discovered an AK-47 at a house party in South Los Angeles. Full military services for a funeral began here at Joshua Memorial Park in Lancaster. From Gorman to Tehachapi over to San Bernardino and finally bordering with the San Gabriel Mountains. Yeah, I'm the last one that spoke to him and I was like, they said they just want you for questioning if you because he said he didn't do it when I talked to him on the phone. Soon after, Corey King turned himself in to the Lancaster Sheriff's Station. Now the 18 year old appears before Judge Robert McSorley on four counts of murder, plus charges of arson and grand theft auto. Mr. King uh, wants to continue his arraignment for four weeks so that uh, the public defender can do uh, some necessary research before he's arraigned. Prosecutors believe King fatally stabbed Lancaster residents Sonia Durfield and her three daughters, aged 13, 11, and 9. Then he allegedly set their house on fire before stealing the victim's car. King's friends are still in shock. Right now, this situation that's happening, I don't know. I don't know who he is. Reports show King has a history of minor arrests. He's also a person of interest in the May murder of a 90-year-old woman in Altadena, where he is from. Friends say, though they don't believe the allegations, they did notice a turn for the worse in King after his disabled mother died six months ago. But when his mom died, I could say that he's changed a little bit. You could tell he changed. King declined to make a plea, and his arraignment was postponed till October. In a time when men dominated the skies, one woman gave them a run for their money, Poncho Barnes. She was a woman who somehow managed to have a very strong relationship with some of the toughest test pilots in the world like Chuck Yeager and Bob Hoover. Born Florence Lowe in 1901 to a wealthy Pasadena family, Barnes was a pioneer of women's aviation. Known for her wild streak and sailor's mouth, Barnes overcame the prejudices against female pilots and became the first woman to fly in the movie industry. She flew against Amelia Earhart and Bobby Trout and all these other women in the first transcontinental air derby for women in 1929. Filmmaker Nick Spark is producing a documentary on Barnes' life, which he previewed at a local chapter of the 99s. The 99s organization is deeply rooted in air racing and preserving the history of women in aviation. Barnes, who was a 99 herself, inspired many generations of women who wanted to fly. I was a member of the WASP uh, during World War II, which is Women's Air Force Service Pilot and uh, I learned to fly the Army way. The legend of Poncho Barnes will live on, not only in Southern California, but in each and every 99 who flies today. The California poppy has popped up all over the hillsides of the Antelope Valley. Their vibrant colors are breathtaking, and some might say romantic. Is that, it is. It is that. <laughs> it is very romantic. People come from near and far to see these golden delicacies at the state's only poppy reserve in Lancaster. Oh, I just came out here to enjoy the views and the flowers and take a few pictures. It seemed everyone was stopping along the seven miles of trails for a photo op. If you shoot fast enough, no problem. They stand still for you. <laughs> you want a fast shutter speed. As tempting as it is to sit among the poppies, you must stay on trail. We have a lot of uh, Mojave rattlesnakes here and, you know, there's 
afraid of you as you are of them, but they will strike. If you pick a poppy, you face a $250 fine and try not to step on them either. Every flower that you step on is killing the next generation of flowers, so you won't have the seeds to germinate for the next year to have flowers. This is definitely a poppy season that you don't want to miss, but as you can tell, it's a little windy. There's two things you want to bring before you come here, a good jacket and a sturdy pair of shoes. Welcome back. Every year a festival is put on that celebrates diversity among all cultures. We did the flyover, we did a uh, vertical, and then we went up even further and we got to do a roll. So, so that was cool. She was at the controls. I was and I survived. Stand by. Way to go. <laughs> Congressman, the topic on everyone's mind is the economy. Do you feel the bailout plan is working and why? Lori, it's been just about a month ago now since we passed the bailout plan. Mayor Jim Ledford, I'm always a big fan of his, and thanks for joining us today. Good to see you, Lori. Yeah, good to see you too. I like yeah. how we both color coordinated with the yeah, purple. Yeah, we got our Laker purple on. Laker purple. <laughs> <laughs> Portland, Oregon, 67 degrees also, just like New York City. And uh, speaking of Oregon, we're a little upset at them right now, right, Bob? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oregon State beat USC, so that's a bummer for us. Now, uh, <laughs> otherwise, you know what? It's still, as we said, it's still pretty clear in California. In Phoenix, it's actually hit triple digits. But all the difference in the world is tomorrow's high. The coast stays cool, 80 degrees. Wouldn't you like to be there? You know what? It's Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. So it's going to look really, really nice along the coast if you guys want to head on out there to the beach. I had the privilege. I love your hat, by the way. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we were both thinking you look really at home in that cockpit there. <laughs> I am. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit bigger than I assumed it would be, but it's, it's snug. So it's, it's really nice. Thank you so much. This has been Local Edition. I'm Lori Brown. Until next time, thank you for joining us.